Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make bike paints in MX Bikes. And there's two different ways to do this. I'm going to be showing you one and what I think is probably the easier way. And so we're going to go ahead and hop right into that. Alright, so what you guys want to do, you want to go to the MX Bikes Mods page, mxbmods.com. Go to Bikes, Liveries, whatever bike you want. And then make sure to just go get a livery. And uh, if you want to adjust it, you can. I'll do American Kawasaki by Rise here. Or, yeah, whatever. I'll, by, by Rise. I'll say Rise. You want to go ahead and download that. That'll download. And then you will have it in your uh, downloads just right here. I'm going to go ahead and move it onto my, uh, my little desktop right here. And so once you have that, probably put it in a folder. Go ahead and make a folder like this. You want to go ahead and right click, new folder, and type MX Bikes or whatever you want. But I think MX Bikes works fine. I already have a folder, so I was just making an example. And then MX Bikes, you want to go ahead and put your paint into that folder here. Uh, and make sure you have GIMP. 2.10.32 is the version it's on right now but all you need is GIMP it's in the Microsoft Store um, it's just called GIMP you can literally search GIMP into the Microsoft Store and get that make sure you have that first and then you're gonna want to go down into the link below I'll go to it really quick and I'll go ahead and I'll link this page in the description below and uh, what you're gonna want to download is this right here painted and it's on version 1.4 and that is what we'll be using today to be getting uh to be working with the paints that we have all right next thing you want to do you want to open up your mx bikes folder you're going to have the paint in here and then you're going to want to click on painted once that's done downloading and it'll bring this screen up right here uh, i'm going to make sure you guys can see this too so you know it's gonna pull this up right here and the the important one right here you're gonna do is paint read and then if say it's just locked on downloads to get to this MX bikes uh, folder right here you just go to desktop and then you find the folder that says MX bikes and there's your paint you want to select the paint and then press open and then you see how it brings these two components in you want to go ahead and unpack those and then back into the MX bikes folder or wherever you desire if you want to do it in downloads that's also fine but I recommend putting it right back into this right here and then you can as soon as this uh, red shows up you are allowed to click out and then you'll have this and then you're going to want to go ahead and open with GIMP if it's not already like that you can if it's not a, already a GIMP file whatever you just want to go ahead and open with and then GIMP and that way you can uh, open it up, but I'm just going to go ahead and double click it and it'll open up GIMP, which is my photo editor, which I'll use to uh, to customize this graphic right here. So this is the graphic that is on it. And we're going to go ahead and bring my uh, my number in. I have a I already have this. I'll show you guys how to make the numbers if you want to. It's sometimes it could be a little bit more tough. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and put this in. I'm going to make sure that the it's pretty centered there. So we've got our number in there now, right? But say I don't like the back plate is that color. You can go ahead here, switch your color. I'm going to go to black. I'm going to switch my paint over here to black. And what you can do is that, and then that, and then that. And then you'll have yourself a... A whole different uh basically a whole different bike and i can show you guys how to customize so with the number placement shift s can help move it around size it differently and then shift r will be able to rotate for you so you can go ahead and rotate it on in press shift s again and then put it in here resize it refit it and then press enter and then you, if you want to see the clear picture, go back to this layer right here. And then uh, you can see the number, obviously. It doesn't look, you know, bad, but we could do a lot to this. 
right here and then if you want to like draw on the seat or something you're gonna go ahead and pre press this magnifying tool press zoom in and you can go to the seat right here and then say I want to draw on it make some of it white you can do that as well you just have to be very careful with what you do obviously this isn't the best job in the world and you'd probably want to do it some other way but I'm just showing you guys what is available and this is how it would show up in game as well so I'm gonna go ahead and just do it anyways uh, for the um, for the fun of it and then you're gonna go ahead and zoom out again and then you can zoom out even more if you'd like a bit too far oh well, zoom right back in so yeah this is pretty much the bike and you're gonna want to go ahead whenever you bring an image into the bike right here you're gonna open as layers that way it opens differently here instead of just as the uh, image say it's a 100% bike I'm gonna bring a 100% logo that I personally downloaded from my web browser we'll put it on the front plate press enter and switch back to this layer right here does it look good it looks fine to me uh, I'm gonna go ahead open as layers I'm gonna go to my Alpine stars logo I have here I'm gonna go ahead and shorten that thing up and then I'm gonna put it oh god no I want to go ahead and put it on the front fender like so i know this is ugly but you guys can do whatever you want and so this is my example right here this is my bike and so when you are done oh wait no one other thing forgot this is your text box right here so if you're this like some gear works with this too so you, if you're ever to do gear you can what you can do or if you don't want to make your number or whatever it is if you don't want to make your number you just want to do an impact font that is fine right here what i recommend doing is changing your size and then opening this up a little bit and my number is 324 I'll go ahead and use that just using the text box dragging a text box open typing in after changing the size and then you press that and then you go back to it press shift s once again and just like that we have a number 324 to work with i'm going to make sure it's short enough i'm going to put it in that number plate right there and so yeah that personally looks probably a little bit better to, than that on this bike to be honest and then this is this is say this is your final product say you're all done you've worked with the text box the drawing the paint to uh change the background of the number plate and this right here is the color picker what you could do is click on it and then click anywhere on and it'll take that color like for example if i click down here you'll notice up here i took the color after clicking down here and then yeah you pretty much have everything you need zoom in and out right here uh this is kind of just to i guess navigate i i don't i've never really used it and then what you're going to do you're going to open up file export as export replace then this p little screen will pop up you just want to make sure you export and then just like that you can uh, go out and discard your changes then you're left with this right here this is pretty much a non-factor you don't need this you can keep it if you'd like but what you want to do is go to paint it again dir read and then you want to pick on the file right here the mxbox folder and what's that's what that's going to do is bring in these two current these two current uh files right here into here again and then you're going to want to name them. Mine will be USA Kawasaki or Kawi. We'll do Kawi number 324. And then you want to make sure to copy that or just remember the name. And then use pack. You want to make sure to click pack right here and it'll bring this up. And then you're going to go ahead and just paste that in, save, and then hover over this X right here. And then you are safe to, to uh, cancel it out once that red shows up and the red has shown up. And we are able to close it now and now you can delete these three things and then go ahead go to your uh your poboso file obviously your poboso folders and mods and whatnot just down to mx bikes mods and then bikes and then kawasaki kx250s right here we're going to go ahead and put the usa kawi number 324 paint in and then we are good to open up the game. I'll see you guys once I'm in. All right, so we are here now and we have everything we need. This is what we have right here. And uh, 
what it should show is USA Cowie number 324, and that is the graphic I just made. We're going to go ahead and select that. It might take a little bit, It'll take like a quick second to uh, put it on there. And we have it right here. So you can see we have the 100% logo. Obviously, it's on that bend, so it doesn't look that great, but here it looks fine. We'll go ahead and inspect it. That number 324 is looking all right. This is some custom gear I made by my, or I guess I took some gear and I put some logos, put my number, put my name on it. Obviously, it looks looks all good. Everything. I like this gear set quite a bit. Uh, those custom gloves have the number 324 on it. You can see uh, I can't do it with the boots, not these ones. I bet you can do it with some others. But, um, yeah, just something to look at. And then so... This is the bike right here, number 324 on this side, 324. You can see we have the Alpine Stars logo there too. So, yeah, that's pretty much just how to do it, how to put your bike skin in the game. And, yeah, that's that'll do it for me. I mean, you guys made a bike skin, and that's that's cool. Make sure to follow the instructions closely. Listen to what I say. Uh, I, wouldn't, I don't recommend watching anything else or, or listening or whatever it is or like deafen in discord when you're talking to your friends while watching because uh it's a very close hearing process and you have to kind of focus on what you're doing a little bit more than uh a little bit more than usual i guess so just something to watch out for and remember shift s and shift r in gimp are to rotate and make your uh different sizes or make your layers different sizes and that one took a little bit for me to understand is shift s and shift r uh, so if you watch this point, I very much thank you, and um, I'll be on my way. Much appreciated. Uh, if you guys didn't like something I did in the comments or if you have any questions, go ahead and comment them down below. I'll try my best to improve upon or answer your question. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll show you guys how to do gear maybe if you guys are still struggling on that. If you guys need a separate tutorial, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.